Hey guys, how you doing? Sean here. Hey, uh, I was been having a, well, I had this little project on my mind for a little while and uh, I wanted to try and make some bushcraft sandpaper. And uh, let me show you how I did it, guys. Um, I took my uh, tuna can with a blue hill on it and then I stuck one of my other little uh, uh, wood stoves on top of it. And then I used my Altoids tin here, melted down some pine sap. And then I uh, poured it on this cloth, but Apparently it's got some polyester in it or something because it uh, it shrunk up on me. So uh, if you guys try this, make sure you use 100% uh, cotton. But uh, we're going to give this a whirl real quick. Oh yeah, um, what I did was I went and got a container full of uh, gravel. And then I uh, just sifted it through here a couple times to try and get it consistent in size. And then uh, I just took and uh, poured it on top of it with the... Uh, wet pine sap. So we're going to give this a try real quick. Let me grab my walking stick I'm working on. Let me sit down here, see if I can hold this. Let me sit on it. There we go. Let's see how this works. Yeah, I don't know guys. kind of works. It's leaving some of the uh, black stuff from the uh, pine pitch, uh, pine sap. And it is working. It is smoothing it out, but it's uh, coloring it. It's making it dark in areas, which isn't so bad. kind of gives it a neat little effect. So, I don't know. Anyway, if you guys got any ideas on how to make some bushcraft sandpaper, let me know, because uh, this is my first go at it. And uh, first mistake was I didn't start out with clean pine sap. Um, I didn't render it down. I just put it in my tin and melted it and poured it on, these, uh, on this material, which turned out to be, I don't know, it's got some polyester in it, I guess. Uh, so I would recommend using 100% cotton or canvas. But, uh, and then sprinkling sand in it. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Talk to you later.